All right, fellas, it's Tom Rogerson from Rogerson Fitness, and we are back to back. And today, I'll try some new things. So, as I haven't been at home for two weeks now, I haven't been able to film. That's why there hasn't been too many videos recently, only on Mondays. And basically, whenever I'm very busy, I'll the bare minimum uh, videos I'll post will be like one every Monday. Um, but now it's half term and I've finished my Latin GC, which is what I was working on recently. Um, I'll be able to post videos a lot more regularly, put a lot more effort into that. So without further ado, let's get straight into the back of you. So as usual, I um, start with a kind of, it's a kind of mix between warm up sets and sort of working sets. So there's three sets of 9 to 12. Um, either just normal wide grip pull ups or reverse wide grip pull ups, depending on the feeling funky or not. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the reason why I'm wearing this is because all my stringies are in the wash at the moment because I just came back from school. So, and they're all dirty because like the washing will get some mugged up at the end of the term because there's no washing. It's, it's all weird, so basically they're all in the wash. So I had to wear this, I had to like find this, I have nothing else to wear. Um, and that's that. After the pull-ups, we go on to the uh, bent over row. Um, second, maybe compound movement. Um, four sets of 15 on one plate. Um, and that's, you know, that's just you know, getting the testosterone pumping, the blood pumping, everything pumping, really. The reps pumping. So yeah, that, that was good. Um, uh, that's a really good compound exercise, which a lot of people don't understand why compound exercises make you bigger. The reason is just because they make more, they, they result in your body making more testosterone because you're like doing more work, I think. So, after that, let me just check my little uh, routine here. After that, oh, there you go. Um, after that, I did four sets of other lats. I don't really know what they're called. I just, or now I just call them the lat fly downs. They're kind of the old next thing, and that's the way you do that. And then I found out about them recently from watching my Bradley Martin and Guzman. Guzman, he does them quite a lot. Um, them doing it, and it's actually really good for isolating the lats. Uh, so four sets of 20 on just an easy weight. Um, it's bloody sick, so highly recommend that. Um, it's, a bit, it's a bit hard here because the range of motion of this machine is only about from here to like down here, whereas usually I'd have it from like way up at the top, so I really, the most important thing about this is you stretch out the lats and as you come down you push your chest forward so you can contract your lats at the bottom. So you're up here at the top, stretching it out, then you contract it at the bottom. So that's the key. Um, it's a bit hard here because it's short swing information, but it's okay. So um, do that. After that, we go on to the seated cable row, which I usually always do. Well, usually always, a bit of a small one really, so I'll basically always do that. Then we do, uh, on that, we do four sets of 15 to 20 on a light to heavy weight, on a medium to heavy weight. Um, and that's, you know, high reps again. Everything I do, especially on back and um, back shoulders and arm days and calf days, and yeah, it's basically high reps. So that's good, that's really good actually. Getting the old one points and a bit of, if you lean back further, so as, if this is the work, as you lean back, as you do it, you can involve a bit more of the traps as well, which is good. Because up until now, the, uh, the lap thing that's been very lax dominant, the, pu the pull ups that's been lap dominant. Um, in fairness, uh, the worries have been one boy dominant, but yeah, this is, this is one boys and traps mainly. There's a bit of lats. Um, and then after that, what did we do? We did. Ah, classic. This is another new thing I found out about. It's absolutely classic. It's the, um, on the bench, you basically lie down on the bench, like on your front on the bench, um, and you get two dumbbells in each other. Again, just lightweight, whack out the reps. Like 20 reps, four sets of 20 on 15 kg dumbbells. Oh, I say 15, but these dumbbells are a bit weird. You can't really do it because they're like make your own dumbbells, you know what I mean? They're not like a really made set. You've got to put the plate on to a little dumbbell bar thing. It's a bit annoying, but it's, it's okay. Um, so you do that. Um, and with this, you can either just not let it touch the floor, just pump out the reps, which is, I think, what you 
you would be seeing now, because um, that's why I did on the first set. And then the, the second and fourth set, I did this thing where after every rep, you just completely let it go onto the floor. You start from the bottom on every rep. So basically, really working on the concentric part of the, uh, of the movement. If you tense up and then kind of let it down, tense up, tense up, like that. As opposed to this sort of thing, you're going like boosh, 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 and just letting it drop on the floor. Um, but yeah, both both ways are good because when you don't let it drop to the floor, you, you've got the constant tension, whereas when you do, you don't have the constant tension, but you do have a more controlled rep and more consistent rep. They, they both have their ups and downs, lots of different ones, pros and cons. Um, after that, we did the usual four sets of Pidgey, um, 20 rep shrugs. Um, and this time I did four sets because I've basically given up on the washes and shifts, which if you don't know is basically top half of a deadlift and then I'm um, it, and then the top half of a sorry the bottom half of a shrug. Uh, and the, the reason why I did that was to be as compound as possible and to increase my one up max for deadlift by getting these two really heavy weights, for example like four blades, four and a half blades, which is basically it's, it's, it's not very good really. And like I always like it's, it's like healed now, my thumb all marked up from that because it kept like scraping along my leg and like the skin all ripped off and stuff. And not very nice. I just didn't really enjoy doing it, I'd never really looked forward to it. So I just got to ask that from the routine. But yeah, that's, that's about it. I'd highly recommend such a routine as this. Um, and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was a good routine, if thought some of them would be exercises would be, um, then please do leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you're feeling extra generous, um, and please stay tuned for the next video. Cheers fellas.